Uh -uh. Oh my fucking god. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. What's up YouTube, Kyra back up in here with another video and today we have a video that I've been wanting to work on for quite a while. I just haven't been able to actually finish it because I haven't had the B-roll clips to show you guys. I'll get into the whole story in a few, but basically what this is going to be covering is an archive shoot that I did around a year ago. Thanks to the likes of Cassius, I believe that's how you pronounce your name. If not, sorry, my bad, my bad brose. But uh, he is from Ottawa. He is an up and coming stylist. Uh, he had hit me up and he wanted me to be a model in one of his shoots just to like build up his portfolio type thing. He ended up using the clothing from a well-known archive provider in Montreal, which is called Nostalgia. Uh, that is backed by my two good friends, Marco Del Papa and also Raf. Um, Raf goes to my school, so that's how I ended up meeting Marco and everything like that. Those two are the heads of this archive account and they're well known on Grail. They're building up their whole clientele on Instagram right now so basically they're making it an artistic perspective on what archive is like they're making the clothes more than what it is by putting it into these shoots styling them curating them in a very like mature fashion and they gave the opportunity to Cassius to like develop his own styling repertoire um, by using the clothes and um, he put the models in whatever fits he wanted and this was documented by Wasim he is a well-known photographer and also videographer he's done a lot of work for the likes of 88 glam Lavelle. Shout out to Ottawa. A lot of good creative content coming out of Ottawa, definitely. They definitely shouldn't be underlooked or um, underappreciated for sure. So I want to give love to whoever I can when uh, it comes to the Canadian scene and everything like that. So that being said, I really wanted to touch on a video like this, but it's just that Wasim has been super busy with working with like the likes of ADA Glam and Night Lavelle, like he's been on tour and everything like that. So he hasn't had a lot of time to send back the footage. That's why I'm only doing this video like a year later. Um, nonetheless, I figured that a lot of people would want to see a video similar to this. This was a new experience for me. Like normally I obviously like I've done modeling in the past and stuff like that. I am a freelance model, but at the same time, I'm used to like on a lot of the shoots since I've had like a good stylistic background they trust me putting some of my fits together most of the time so when it comes to modeling sometimes i had had to shift certain things but this is the first time where like head to toe he was like wear this and i wore it and that's what the end result was it wasn't uncomfortable for me because i don't really care but it was a new experience for me so i just wanted to like go through it with you guys and like actually talk about some of the fits that i was put in and just because it's a it's an interesting perspective i feel like archive is like a really um not a new thing but like it's newer to a lot of the audiences right now especially with like homies like sanj and like owen and everyone talking like this especially fernando his whole account right now is basically backed by this whole archive ordeal so i want to touch my own perspectives on it as well so we'll get into the first outfit that i kind of want to touch in on
but the first one is this junior 2003 poem shirt that he put me in along with these um supreme I, I believe they are like like a cargo slash bondage pant they're with navy uh, i don't know what you i think they're from 2011 but the junior shirt um is from 2003 it's the poem shirt as the white with the pink i feel like the white with the pink is so nice like out of all the the poem shirts that i have seen in the past i feel like the white with the pink is like something that I would actually like to have into my own collection in the future after trying it on for that shoot i just seen how like playful of a shirt it is like definitely like a really heavy miami vibe to it super like vacation-y you could wear it in that type of setting apart from that it is pretty loud and distinctive so i feel like you can't really wear it a lot of times into a week that's why i feel like it's a, a distinct archive piece to have it into your collection that's why i don't feel like it stays in a lot of people's collections unfortunately but um for a piece from 2006 i feel like this is very innovative for junia this does a really good job for sure. So I definitely appreciated being styled into that outfit. He had my hair tied back. Um, it's more of like, I guess like a, a clean, a cleaner cut vibe. Like uh, the best thing I could think of is like Leo in that fucking movie. I, I forget what movie it is, but I'm sure I'll have a picture on the side of it right here. He's like holding the gun in a Hawaiian shirt. That's like the best thing I could compare it to. Out around town, pull up, know what's happening. Yeah, I'm in a different matrix, thoughts on crashing. Don't touch me, don't touch me That's the sin that did that went against me Don't touch me, don't touch me I suggest you run along, please don't upset me Hang around shooters right up in the streets If you got beef, hold up, then we can meet Hit a rock for a pound of the sticky Wiki on me, God, I don't know what that be Mad Max hit me, he said he with a tree He secured a belly, he's not in the me Mad Max hit me, he said he with a tree He secured a belly, it's not in the me Burn it now Right in the mail, uh, running shit now. Yes, you can tell. Bitch on it, bitch on pipe. She look right, she won't fuck. That's on sight, she won't fuck. That's on night. She look bad, these bitches I know. They wanna fuck, they at the show. She look bad, these bitches I know. They wanna fuck, they at the show. They wanna fuck, I love my show. These bitches bad, I already know. I'm with grams, rolling my dough. I'm with grams, blowing my smoke. These bitches bad, I already know. I'm with grams, rolling my dough. I'm with grams, blowing my smoke. I'm with grams, rolling my dough. That boy broke, I know what he do. The next outfit that I wanted to get into was with these Julius cargos. These are from 2006 spring summer zipper cargo pants. These are like a really big grail for a lot of people. I believe they go in like in the thousands of dollars sometimes. Like uh, originally when I started wearing them uh, for this shoe, I believe they were like 600, but now they go upward of like a thousand dollars, I believe. Um, they're just really cool because the zipper goes from like all the way at the top of the pant all the way to the bottom. So I believe you could like unzip it fully. And then the bottom, there's like a semi cuff and then it goes to like an actual full twill that closes the pant halfway and then the other half of it kind of uh, a ribbed cuff. It's just really innovative for a pant, very military inspired and heavy duty. And I wasn't expecting it to fit nicely with the Rick Owens, but he said to wear it with my Ricks because I wore them that day anyway. And they ended up turning out fucking fire. Like they hovered right over over where the tongue of the Rico and Geo, Geo baskets were. So it didn't really give that like total Rick-esque look. It just kind of floated above it. So I feel like it was more of like a bulky vibe, um, kind of balanced out the proportions on the upper because I was wearing like another Hawaiian flowy vacation shirt, which was the Supreme Heels button down shirt. Also like very flowy, vacation-y like I said before. This would be a very nice fit just for that in between season, like I, I feel like uh, like a September fit, this would be really nice because I was wearing it with a beanie. I believe I was wearing that with the St. Woods beanie that came out around that time. Uh, he just said wear a black beanie, it would be perfect. So it ended up balancing pretty nicely with the whole black upper and then black shoes. And then my soles were kind of creamish because I beat the hell out of my geo baskets at that time. And then also the the tannish kind of neutral color of the pant, it set it all off. If you follow me, I follow you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you follow me, I follow you. Yeah, cause I can't find a bottom nigga, how about shoes? Yeah, she wanna come over, she wanna get a coke. Yeah, but baby on that ground, I got no 
time for you. Yeah, baby, I'm on the road, ain't got no time for you. Yeah, I can't even call, I cannot test you. And if the trap ain't bust, we bustin' checks too. You know, I got got little bitch, I ain't got no time for you. Flexin' every day I wake up. Yeah, she gon' suck my dick, I'll fuck up all her makeup. Yeah, I can't go broke, little bit no. Ten hoes. Every time I catch out, it be new designer clothes. Just that be this and that, no bitch, you already know. Yeah, if you fuck with me, I fuck with you. Yeah, cause I can't find nobody. She won't come over, she won't get it cool Yeah, but baby, I'm yeah. on that ground, ain't got no time for you Yeah, baby, I'm on the road, ain't got no time for you Yeah, I can't even call, I cannot touch you Yeah, I can't even call, I cannot touch you Yeah, baby, I'm on the ground, ain't got no time for you Yeah Now going into the next fit, this one I actually ended up being in the shot with Raf. Raf is one of the people from Nostalgia. I said it was part owned by Marco and Raf. So he was in this part of the shoot with me. It was like just two, two of us together. And it was kind of like we, where we got the inspiration from was like what would a Montreal picnic be? And it's just funny because like Montreal is very known for like this like nightlife whole this whole lifestyle of like nightlife like we're really captivated on nightlife like going out just having a good time whether it's restaurants clubbing or going to lounges a bunch of stuff like that we just wanted to depict like what would be at like at like 3 a.m what montreal picnic would be like so we had like this rug this like persian-esque looking lo a rug anything that you'd be typically found in like a loft of montreal and then uh we set it like across this brick background if you guys have been to the old port of montreal that's like the typical loft background that you would see from there but then uh we put it with like a full meal of mcdonald's and then like a bottle of uh belvedere but it had like the little the dispenser bit on the top from like a club because uh that was just there someone had, i feel like someone pantsed it from a club like from one of the guys from uh, Ottawa definitely like put it in their pants because they didn't finish it from the night before but uh, it was good like just like little knickknacks like that that really set the picture off in my opinion I feel like it, it really made for like a good story of the whole shoot rather than it just being like editorial shots like I feel like that actually adds some like more characteristic and flow to a whole photo shoot if you guys want to take some cues from that and for future photo shoots like that definitely do that because I feel like it was just very random but at the same time it, it was fitting for the setting um because they're from ottawa going to montreal like if it's for the whole build-up of that type of story so yeah continuing on this outfit was consistent of a gosha beanie this is like a camo beanie i really like this a lot just because there's not heavy branding it doesn't scream that it's gosha it's unfortunate that uh gosha Rupchinsky is accused of these allegations that's why i don't know this didn't really age too well but this was a year ago you know i wasn't wearing that right now that was in the past don't affiliate me with no touching little kids, you know, all that. That's not me, okay? I don't do that. It's nasty. Okay, going on to the rest of it. We had this undercover. I believe it's from 1999 or 2000. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this is the Blank Generation uh, crew neck. I believe this one, it was, um, you're able to unzip it on certain parts and then, like, piece it back together. Correct me if I'm, one, if I'm wrong once again. These aren't my pieces, but I'm just trying to recollect what actually war from this shoot because it was a year ago my bad but um i believe that is from the that is from the small parts collection i believe so i believe for for me this outfit was like very contrasty very black and white but it worked out really nice like i didn't look like thousand and one dalmatians it was 
really tasteful in my opinion it didn't make it look too try hardy especially since i'm wearing like needles pants for that time that was like written were really popping i feel like so especially with the black and white vans i feel like maybe if i had a different pair of shoes it would be a bit better but um it was good and then raf i believe he was wearing the same pants i was wearing in the shot from before but then alongside uh, a supreme sopranos shirt oh no no a supreme scarface shirt my apologies once again and yeah just like a black bandana stuff like that very simple clean I'm carrying these niggas like Blake on the piston Making the work disappear, a magician No work at that church, she that nigga a Christian Rub us up like a mommy, we changing religion Pussy tasting like cinnamon, yellow like lemon No yellow like taxi, but this ain't no taxi I'm stunting like Jackie I'm in Miami looking for a dolphin Green on me like I'm playing in Boston Next shot is the final one is the final home parachute parka And then also a 2011 Prodigy t-shirt um, this was just nice because I wasn't expecting this to be as fitting for my build as I thought it would because normally I don't wear parkas like that so I had it on originally but then after I, they have these like straps to kind of wear it like a backpack and I feel like that made the pictures even more complete after we look back over them because like those parkas don't look the greatest on me sometimes uh just in that type of outfit in my personal opinion but then when I wore it as a backpack it really looked it, it was fine that's all the fits I really want to go over for this whole thing. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed those outfits. Uh, they were a year old, so maybe they didn't age nicely, but also at the same time, this is archive clothing. You guys might not agree that Supreme from 2011 is archive clothing, but in a couple years, it might be archived. In a couple years, it might not be. But all the other pieces, like the Julius Cargos from 2006 and uh, Comme des Garçons, Junior, uh, Poem shirt, like that's all true by definition, archive clothing. I don't know, ask Fernando, ask the, the likes of these connoisseurs of archive clothing if that is correct, but in my opinion, I feel like that counts all the boxes that I would check for archive clothing. But anyway, let me know what your favorite outfit was in the comments below for sure, and if you would want me to do more videos like this, just going over the photo shoots that I have done in the past, I feel like it is pretty interesting to do that, just because I do like photo shoots here and there, but I never really get to document them like I do this time shout out to wasim shout out to cassius shout out to nostalgia the whole team that put this basically like put this video together like i'm just, i'm putting it all into a package deal to show to you guys they were all the different elements that helped put this whole thing together so shout out to everyone from ottawa shout out to nostalgia and we made this happen you know? so yeah thank you guys once again for watching make sure to go follow me on my instagram g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e -E, and i'll be back with another video very soon peace I always speak so fucking fast. I always speak so fast. Yo, don't mind me, you know. I'm in the little, I'm in a weird hairdo right now just cause like it's a temperate, you know. Gotta get treatment, you know. Treatment, you gotta keep the hair healthy. You gotta get it treated up. I've been having it in the braids for God knows how long. It's winter, I gotta get all luscious, you know. Luscious, 2019 luscious, celibacy, whole lot of this and that, you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm coming correct the whole time. The whole time. Get your man's Then got care on you. Not your bands. Then get 
get killed by them. And get killed by swamp.